The Great Depression was a troubled time for America. Beginning in 1929 and lasting until the early 1940s, the Depression brought poverty and hardship to the nation. During this time, the stock market crashed. Banks failed. Wages and prices plummeted. Businesses went bankrupt. And unemployment skyrocketed. Some of the hardest hit people were farmers in Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Colorado, and New Mexico. During World War I, high wheat prices and the needs of the troops led many farmers to convert land they had used to graze cattle into cropland. As farmers plowed and seeded more prairie land, the plants and grasses that had protected the soil were stripped away. In 1934, strong winds began blowing loose soil into huge clouds of dust. Choking storms blew for years, ruining crops and pastures and making it hard to breathe. The storms became so common that the prairie states became known as the Dust Bowl. The Dust Bowl states became a great desert. Thousands of farmers abandoned their dusty homes and headed west in search of work. In his Pulitzer Prize winning novel, The Grapes of Wrath, John Steinbeck graphically portrayed the human suffering of this westward migration. The Grapes of Wrath focuses on the plight of the Joad family, uprooted farmers from Oklahoma. It has become a classic account of the human toll of the Dust Bowl. Steinbeck put a personal touch on the difficulties faced by thousands of Dust Bowl families as they moved west, including the resistance and exploitation they encountered once they arrived there. Like many other Dust Bowl refugees, the Jodes hoped that the West would be their salvation. So they loaded up their car and headed along Route 66 for the green valleys of California. But California was not the haven they had hoped for. The locals scorned the migrants, calling them Okies because so many of them came from Oklahoma. Corporations had bought up most of the small farms in California, and they controlled most of the land. And they had more local workers than they could use, so jobs for the migrants were scarce and paid very little. Homeless and jobless, many migrants were left to fend for themselves. They lived in tents or cardboard shacks without water or electricity. Most were hungry, and many grew sick. And rather than using their surplus produce to help the needy migrants, the farm companies destroyed it to keep prices high. There is a crime here that goes beyond enunciation. There is a sorrow here that weeping cannot symbolize. The fertile earth and the ripe fruit and children dying of pellagra must die because a prophet cannot be taken from an orange. The people come with nets to fish for potatoes in the river and the guards hold them back. In the souls of the people, the grapes of wrath are filling. The Grapes of Wrath was published in 1939 and it quickly became a bestseller. The book fueled a debate about the real difficulties faced by the Dust Bowl migrants. Many Americans doubted that the problem was as bad as Steinbeck described. Most doubt ended after First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt toured the migrant camps herself and supported Steinbeck's claims. Through later government intervention and improved farming techniques, the choking storms of the Dust Bowl have largely become a thing of the past. But the Grapes of Wrath remains a valuable snapshot of the human suffering caused by the Great Depression and a warning about the dangers of poverty, hunger, and intolerance. <laughs>